Why, hello friends! Happy Friday and welcome to Coffee Date and our first Coffee Date of 2013. What, what? So excited that you're here and I can't believe it's been a year since we started doing Coffee Date. And it's been about six months since we started doing a vloggy coffee date and I'm just so excited you guys that this has been something that people have gotten excited about I know I'm excited about it and it has just been such a wonderful way for me to get to know new people and to learn about you guys and hopefully you feel that it brings a little bit more a little bit more personal side to the blog just because you get to hear and see kind of all my weird quirks. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good thing for me, but you guys might enjoy it. So if we were having coffee, I would tell you that I have. I'm still working on my coffee today. My Anthro mug, just a home brewed Trader Joe's morning blend with some vanilla creamer in it. Have I told you guys that I'm kind of addicted to a vanilla creamer? I am. In fact, I pour the creamer in first at the bottom of my cup, and then I put the coffee in. So, um, sometimes I have to ask myself if I like more creamer or more coffee. I think I think the creamer might win out. So, um, if we were having coffee today, I would tell you guys, first and foremost, thank you, thank you, thank you for so much for yesterday, for praying for my sister-in-law and my brother, and... And just for those of you who reached out on Instagram and Twitter and by email and text message, it was overwhelming and wonderful. And so many of you checked in again with me last night to see how she's doing. And for that, I am forever, forever grateful. This community, um, there's nothing like it. It's beautiful and it's a treasure. And I just want you guys to know how much I appreciated it and just how much my brother and and um, his wife, Alan, appreciated it yesterday just knowing as you guys were tagging them um, everywhere that they were being surrounded by prayer. If we were having coffee, I would give you a quick update. Uh, Alan is home and resting. She started seizing in the middle of the night two nights ago. And my brother held her as she seized. She'd never had a seizure before. And uh, when she was done seizing, she was unresponsive. So he called 911. They took her to the hospital. By the time she got to the hospital, she was had come to. She was very dizzy and had a headache and had no recollection of what happened. But she, at least she was responsive. So we um, are, of course, thankful completely to God for that. Uh, they ran a series of tests yesterday. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of tests. They kept her all day long. And they found no evidence of why she had had the seizure. And there's nothing to say that she'll ever have it again. But they did restrict her from driving for six months. So that just be praying for them because my brother works and he's going back to school. And then, of course, she works. And so there's that, all that stuff. So if you live in Tennessee um, and you want to go visit them, let me know because they would probably love that. Um, but if you guys can just keep praying, I really, really believe that the reason why um, all those tests came back the way they did is because she was completely surrounded by Jesus' healing angels. And yesterday, we did exactly what um, God told us to when we rested in his healing presence. And so I'm super excited for that. Um, but keep lifting them up in prayer, if you will. I would love that. If we were having coffee today, I would tell you that along with writing about them and everything that was going on and asking for prayer yesterday, it just got my heart really thinking about my word for this year and being purposeful. And with that, yesterday I launched the Purposeful Project, which is just finding ways to see the beauty in life. And whether it's being purposeful about sitting with your children while they're eating lunch, something that you may not normally do because you're answering emails or on your phone or you're trying to multitask, clean the house, or if it's sitting down to cuddle with them instead of cleaning the house, or if it's just seeing the beauty in your children playing together, or seeing somebody help someone else or you going out of your way to help someone else and just being purposeful about that 
um, or needing a having a prayer request or anything, I would just love for you to use the hashtag Purposeful Project, and we, our community, can come together and we can be searching that and uplifting and praying for one another and just coming alongside you and being a part of that with you. So I've started using it already, and I hope you will join in this with me. Um, I'm also reading Jesus Calling right now, and it's been, for me, exactly what I needed because I'm learning um, different ways that I need to rest. I wrote about rest at Christmas time and just different ways that I need to be resting in my Heavenly Father. And so... Oh, I guess that's a lot. I'm talking really fast. But if you were having coffee today, I would just tell you once again, I'm just so thankful. I'm so excited for this year and for continued coffee dates. And I would love to have you um, guest post for coffee date. So our guest vlog, I guess I should say. So if you're interested and you have something on your heart that you want to share with our community and just uplift them, please email me. Um, I put, I've put i put my email address below the video. So I love you all, and I can't wait to see you next week and see how your week has been this week. Um, if we were having coffee today, what would you be telling me? See you next week, friends.